okay I think we made it to our last video let's take a look at number 12 number 12 says find the area of a uh, or it says the area of a storage shed is represented by 2L times quantity L minus 3 equals 20 where L is the length of the storage unit or the storage shed find the length of the shed what should be our first step here? Distributive property, yeah. We get 2L squared minus 6L equals 20. What are we going to do next? We've got a quadratic, so what should we do next? Standard form. Yeah, let's subtract 20 from both sides. Now we're ready to solve. I see a GCF. We could, you could use quadratic equation. Your A is 2, your B is negative 6, your C is negative 20. I do see a GCF. I'm going to factor that out since they didn't tell me what method to use. I'm going to factor out 2, and I'm left with L squared minus 3L minus 10 and I'm going to see if I can factor this may have to use the uh, quadratic equation if it's not factorable negative 10 goes there negative 3 goes there do we have factors of negative 10 that have a difference of negative 3 negative 5 positive 2 those multiply to negative 10 Multiply on the diagonal. Ooh, I'm so glad we went this factoring route. Those add up to negative 3. My two factors are L minus 5 times the quantity L plus 2 equals 0. Of course, that 2 is out there, but 2 can never be 0. So this quantity of L minus 5, that's got to be 0 or L plus 2 has to be 0. And if you solve for L, you get L equals 5, or L equals negative 2. And what were we solving for in the first place? The length. Which one do you reject? The negative. You can't have negative length. It doesn't look like they gave me any units, so we're just going to say our length is 5 units. Is that in your answer bank? Super. Number 13, the length of a rectangle is 2x squared and the width is 3x minus 4. What is the area of the rectangle in terms of x? I have a rectangle. The length is 3x plus 2 and the width is 3x minus 4. What is the area of the rectangle? How do you get the area of a rectangle? Length times width. Okay, let's do that. My length is 3x plus 2. My width is 3x minus 4. What are we going to do next? We want an expression for the area. Yeah, yeah. Just testing you here to see if you can answer the question. This has nothing to do with quadratic formula. We're not solving for x. We're trying to put this together to get an expression for the area. So we're going to use FOIL. Front two terms gives me 9x squared. Outside two terms gives me Inside two terms gives me, last two terms gives me, combine like terms and you get, yeah, they didn't ask us to solve for x, they just wanted an expression for the area in terms of x. Gosh, when did we learn how to do this back in chapter?